Good morning, you guys. Happy Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh, huh. It's Friday. Nada. Just a soda. Told that boy to bring me back soda yesterday. He forgot. And actually, not a soda. No, I want not I want not Hey, y'all. <laughs> Sunday night. Mm -mm. I'm on that. Good morning, good morning. I hope you guys are having a great morning. It's Friday. Y'all know that's my favorite freaking day of the week. I'll get her later today. I'll get her later today. Anyway, guys. <laughs> yeah. Happy, happy Friday. Happy Friday. Oh, yeah. Say my bad, I forgot, but yeah, I'll do it today. So, you guys, I hope you're having a great day. So far, great How morning. It's today? early. Huh? How are you going to give to us today? What did Lavelle give me? So, I'm going to tell her I'm going to give the money to mommy. Yeah. So, yeah. So, anyway, guys, yeah. I hope you said your prayers this morning, not just for your friends, families, and loved ones, but for all your brothers and sisters in Christ. And remember to treat people the way you would expect to be treated or better, okay? Um, I wanted to tell y'all about a dream that I had this morning, but, and I knew I was going to forget it. I did. Now, I forget, I don't know what was going on, to be honest with you. Um, but in the dream, it there were either four or six kids and I say that because it was the even number of kids and it was more than two so it was either four or six I can't remember um, I know there were a lot of kids around a lot of stuff going on uh, I think it was like in a I don't know a basement that was half complete half not you know half and half so part of it was completed the other part was not the other part looked like just your regular basement ugly you know concrete flooring with the um what do you call them pillars up or whatever beams um hold on y'all like yeah i was talking to jeremiah i couldn't focus <laughs> um because i'm trying to remember this dream now what's crazy about this dream is when i woke up i remembered that you know how i tell y'all some of the dreams I feel like i had them before you know, or, or some of the rooms may be a one dream, but they were also in another. So that's what I think what happened with this basement. Because I feel like I had a dream before with this basement. So anyway, like I said, I don't remember everything that was going on. It seemed like it was a, a gathering, a get-together, right? But then, I don't know what happened that I ended up with these either four or six kids I honestly think it was four because it was like I finally got them down to take a nap type of thing where they were calm down and lying down um, moving around and stuff but they were lying down and they were lying down side by side and I was sitting on the couch I was talking to somebody so I can't remember none of that okay I just remember I had to keep an eye out on these particular four I don't know what the situation what was going on but I had to watch them okay um, all of a sudden in the dream I'm in my car I don't know who I'm in the car with but it's not just me and I'm um, going down the street and I don't know if I was going to try to get the car fixed something was wrong I don't know um, and the only reason why I say that is because while I'm driving while we're driving down the street and I was on the passenger side um, I saw our you know family mechanic and I was like hey I was calling his name out the window but I'm not sure if he saw me or not um, so we kept going and then all of a sudden, just I ended up, I'm leaving the, the house with a vacuum cleaner, y'all. I'm walking down the street with a vacuum cleaner. Why? I don't know. I guess the vacuum cleaner at this point was the car. I, I don't know. I can't explain it. All I know is I was walking down the street with this vacuum cleaner. So I'm walking down and um, I see the mechanic. Well, he sees me and he calls out and I was like, hey, how you doing or whatever. 
And so I cross the street. Now, as I go across the street, when I get to the corner, there's like a bunch of people, you know, lounging around outside or whatever. They're almost like misfits, like what you would see in the movie, what they would call misfits in the movie. And some of the misfits were couples. So one of the couples was like almost on the corner and just hanging around. They were heavy set, um, and I don't know why that was important, um, but it was just weird. Like it was almost keep an eye out on them type of thing, but not. I, I can't explain it. So I crossed the street and continued to walk. And that's when the mechanic caught up with me and was walking with me. He was like, look, this is a horrible area. Um, be careful. Watch everything you're doing. Da, 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 da. Then he said, even this church. He said, if you go to the church, he said, when the choir get through singing, leave. He said, that's how bad the area is. Then it was crazy because I had told him somebody else told me the same thing. Earlier in the dream, someone else was telling me the same thing. It's a bad neighborhood, bad area. Even when you go to the church, when the choir get through singing, leave. And I thought that was really, really crazy. And so as I'm going up for some reason, all of a sudden I'm going up the church stairs because you can hear the choir singing. And it was like heaven. It was heavenly. And it was like almost like a light. Um, as the door the door was open it was almost like a, a light and it was inviting you in like it was a beautiful sound listening to them sing and um, he was saying when they get through singing you leave and I was like hmm, I just thought that was so weird so when I turned around um, to just make sure that he was okay um, or it was either to make sure he was okay or to ask him something I think it was to ask him something because he had left after that and he was walking back down the street, the same street from whence I came. And I looked back, and he was standing there. And I was like, hey, Mike. You know, and I was talking to him. And all of a sudden, this car just went, bam, right, smacked into him. And, and he flew. It hit him, pop, and he flew. And I was like, oh, my God. So I, got, I ran down the stairs, and I ran in that direction to see if he was okay. But then all of a sudden, another car flew by and flew in front of so the person that hit the car that hit him, that person got out of the car, I guess, to check on him to see if he was okay. I don't know. Um, but then another car flew by me. It was a truck. Beautiful truck at that. Flew by me and hit the guy that hit him. Spun and went whop and hit him. And I woke up. And I woke up. <laughs> I woke up and then throughout the whole dream I didn't feel anything weird other than like I said with the misfits on the corner I had a weird feeling um, and then when he got hit it was a weird feeling but then I woke up I was fine <coughs> I did wake up and I began to pray I prayed for everybody for him just for everybody people I don't know family friends loved ones I just prayed because I don't know entirely what it was about I didn't know if someone's gonna get hit you know, or in an accident, if something was going to happen to kids, I don't know. I just pray for everybody because, you know, I've said it a million times. I wish everybody the best. I want everyone to be happy. We are all brothers and sisters of Christ. We all make up a whole. We make up the body of Christ. You know what I'm saying? Your arm is my arm. For the, That's how I feel about it. Like, we're in this together. And... I just want everybody to be happy like um so I prayed I prayed and I was like oh, what I told y'all now is what I remember and that was this morning so I was like I have to remember this like I was gonna record it so in case I forget but I was like no I'm not gonna forget I'm not gonna forget but I almost did so good um but yeah I do I really do care and Yesterday I watched, um, I finished watching Missing. So there were 12 episodes, even though it felt like way more. Because the episodes were pretty long. I did fall asleep a couple of times. Because what happened when I got off work, y'all, 5 o'clock, your girl went straight to bed. I heated up some dressing. Um, it's a little bit left. Um... I'll probably finish that off today. Um, everything else is gone, I think. There might be some greens left. 
and maybe mashed potatoes. But anyway, whatever's in that refrigerator um, this evening, I'm tossing it. It's not much at all. I'm, I'm tossing it. Um, so anyway, I was watching finished well I think like I said I made fix myself some dressing and I lay here and um to finish watching missing and I, I went to sleep I watched I, I nodded off I woke up and then I finished it and then I, I fell asleep I fell asleep y'all I fell asleep to the point I thought when I woke up it was like three or four in the morning it was 8 p.m. <laughs> I was like wow so you might as well say when I sat down here to watch TV it was about 5 30 so I had to have dozed off maybe about six so I slept two hours but it felt like it might have been three or four in the morning but it was not it was only eight I was like it's only 8 p.m. um but so missing y'all it was good it was, it was really freaking good. I don't think the episodes should have been as long as they were. Um, but it was good. And by episodes being as long as they were, I mean the actual time. Like the 12 episodes was fine. The duration. It shouldn't have been that long because it just didn't take that. Uh, it should have been, I don't know how long it was, but it felt like forever. Anyway, guys, it was really good. I'm glad I watched it. You know, I just hated the, the loss part of it. That was hard. You know, to watch people lose someone, you know, that's never easy for anybody. You know what I'm saying? Never. It's so hard. Some people can take a loss and like, you know what? They're in a better place, things that da 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 but you know, shed their tears and keep moving. Some it takes it hits harder, you know. And what made it even more difficult was the reason behind the loss. In this particular picture, it was people that were being brutally murdered murdered for no reason just or murdered for selfish greedy reasons you know lives are being taken unfairly um untimely by someone else wrongfully by someone else and they were killed majority of them in a horrible way fighting for their lives or trying to fight you know some were un unable to fight and they were just, it was just horrible in my opinion. And that's what made it, the loss, even more difficult. And because of the way they were taken, the way they passed, they all gathered. They were in this, on this, uh, in this village that only dead people can see um, and few people that were alive could see it maybe they like in this guy's case it started off with him hitting his head um and that caused him to be able to see but it wasn't just that he hit his head it was that he had some grievance um his mom had left him at the age of seven said she would come back and she never did so he grew up in a group home blah 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 blah, blah. but it turned out she didn't come back because she was murdered so all the time he was hating her thinking she left him abandoned him she was murdered so he um ended up helping solve a lot of those murders and so a lot of the people that was there once their bodies were found they they dissipated they disappeared they went on to wherever they were going so like this was the holding the middle place um and so once their bodies were found they went on to go to heaven or to hell because everybody in this place weren't always the best okay and like i said because you had some people that were for whatever reason they still could not figure that part out yet was able to see the dead um that would stumble up on that that village um <clears throat> so yeah and it was horrible because even in the village even though they're dead um you can still hurt them they can't die but 
And by what I mean by hurt is they can still experience that fear. For example, <clears throat> one of the girls, one guy died. They didn't even know he was there. And he attacked one of the girls. He tried to, you know, kill her, tried to rape her. Um, but, you know, of course the guy uh, came in and prevented it. But that fear was still there, you know what I'm saying? And it's like they they could forever feel that fear, feel fear, you know? It's still experience things, you know? They were working while they were there. They had families while they were there type of thing. You know, they, they became family. So it just was so painful to watch. I know it's going to be a season two because toward the end, the two guys that could no longer see them, at the end, a little girl kicked her ball out, and they were talking to her. She was dead. And a little girl recognized one of the guys, and she was like, when she went back to all the other little kids under the bridge, she was like, guys, I just saw her nice father. And he's one of the main characters. He was living there. He had been there for 10 years, living among them and finding, you know, dead the body so that they can go because his daughter was kidnapped at a young age and he had been looking for her over 10 years and um, they finally found her body which is why he could no longer see them and one of the reasons I knew it was going to be a part two because they never explained why he couldn't see her now if he's there and he's able to see all these dead bodies because of his grievance because of his his loss for his daughter <clears throat> not being able to find his daughter so if he's there able to see them because of his daughter because they died wrongfully why wasn't his daughter there because she was killed wrongfully so why wasn't she there as well Thomas was there even longer than he was. Thomas was there for years. Thomas was dead. They had never found his body. Thomas was welcoming everyone in. Da, 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 da. He, he uh, was the owner of the um, bar, the, the little inn that everybody you know, gathered in. Da, 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 da. He was there for years. Seeing many people come and go. Having said that, why that little girl wasn't there? Why was not her spirit or her ghost or whatever, her body, why, why, not her body, but her soul, why she was not there for her dad to see? Um, that was never explained. So when they dug up her bones, they dug up her body, he was no longer to see, able to see that that uh, village. Now with everybody else, when the bodies were dug up, like I said before, they went on to go to heaven or to hell or whatever. Um so like I said why wasn't she there so when they dug up her body she could go on to heaven you know what I'm saying so they're going to have to explain that that to me has to be explained it, it just has to be it also has to be explained why some people were able to see you know is it just because some people had grievances or maybe some people had simple minds mind like children I don't know so they really should explain that so that's why I feel they'll Aside from the ending, that there will be, I, before I knew the ending, I was like, there's going to be a part two. It has to be. So, yeah, I do recommend watching it. And so, when that went off, I ended up watching, re watching Troll because I watched it earlier in the day on my breaks, but I had to go back because I felt like I missed something. It was good. It was good. Like, I've always watched Troll documentaries and stuff like that. And I watched the last movie slash documentary documentary about trolls and it was good so when this came out i was quite interested and it was it was good i i liked it and it's gonna be a part two so i think with troll um i think they're gonna end up doing like jason it's gonna be one two three four five you know because it's trolls you know it's always gonna be another troll <laughs> maybe one bigger and badder than the first one and it sounds like this one is gonna be tougher than the last one so I'm looking forward to it. So I've been talking to you guys for a little bit. Um, my phone, for some reason, I think I mentioned it yesterday, is not charging. And it's really, this just started yesterday. It's only charged 33%. All day while I was working yesterday, it was only 2%, 3%, 4%. You know, and I was like, what is going on with my phone? I'm sorry, y'all. Like I told y'all, my voice <coughs> is coming and going. I don't know. 
got a message here. I want to quickly. Oh, I picked up the phone to see what time it is. It's 7.55. And I got a message. Jeremiah? Okay. Some people appear in your life when you need them. Um, most when you need them most they love you and lift you up reminding you of the best that the best is what reminding you of the best even when you're going through the worst these people are not just friends they are earth angels beautiful sorry how I was reading like that but as y'all can see that screen is cracked so I had to blow it up and move around so I can see um, one moment I apologize <clears throat> I don't know why. Like yesterday, guys. Yesterday, I just had to keep moving it around, moving it around. And then finally, it started charging. I don't know. Maybe I need to need get a new cord. I know that there's an issue with the battery. It's been an issue. So, yeah, at some, at some point, I have to get a new one. Um... I should have my Apple phone back today, um, but I do want to keep mine. I hate going through the trouble transferring stuff over, so I don't know. I do want to keep mine. Um, I do have to get a new one though, so I'll, I'll check and see about an upgrade. This one only cost me ten dollars, so at Cricut, <coughs> and that's because of some promotion they had. So I was able to upgrade the one I had for a $10 phone. Anyway, guys, yeah. So that's my morning story. Um, it is, I just told you, 7.55. So I'm going to go ahead and get my Bible and read a little bit here. Um, before I start, I'm going to try to start work about 8. Well, go ahead and start logging in about 18. Today is going to be the damn game day. Oh, I'm not looking forward to that. But anyway, talk to you guys later. Remember to expect great things. Bye now.